Alrighty, we're back. Marty here with my Vault Dweller Mia in Sanctuary. And we're doing the Never Leave Sanctuary playthrough. This is the 15th of December 2287. And we are... We may be on the verge of a breakthrough here. Um, if you've been following along, um, I've been uh, frantically uh, working to achieve level 14. Uh, let's, uh, let's just quickly take a look at that. So level 14 basically gives me the ability to obtain local leader two uh, and uh, at that point I'll be able to build stores and so on in the settlement and you can see on the bottom left there I am just a hair away from level 14 so a pretty exciting uh, day probably in, in front of us here uh, game day of course I'm talking about um, so yeah there it is level 13 and 0.9598 something like that <laughs> uh, and there you go it's the 15th of December uh, bright and early in the morning we have five people in a settlement four of which are farmers um, I, I do have uh, some capacity probably to uh, hit level 14 at any given time here uh, what happened was um, I, I've, I've been doing all kinds of things to, to level up uh, and and in the last uh, very short while I've basically dismantled uh, parts of these buildings here uh, part of the structure that I put up here uh, the building on the end there is virtually gone there is one piece of floor and uh, a little bit of uh, wall left there and uh, the back wall of this building is also gone so what I've done is I've uh, I've I've scrapped those in order to get uh, materials that I can use to um, to basically build uh, well, here, let me let me just show you. Uh, if you go into the build menu, you have a number of uh, options, obviously, in the build menu. Uh, under the furniture tab, um, if you go to tables and um, move over to the, uh, the coffee table, you can see that it takes only four pieces of wood to, uh, to, to create this table. Now every time you create a table it gives you three or four XP. So obviously uh, I have enough here to, to make um, uh, to, to, to make uh, about uh, let's see 15, 16, 17, eight, 18? 18 tables. That, that may actually push me over the top. Um, what I was hoping to do was um, basically um, the okay. So, so the other uh, the other side of this coin is that um, I need two hundred caps, two hundred caps, in order to uh, buy that um, that shop that I was talking about. So. The one in question is the uh, clothing store, the clothing stand. So, um, yeah, as you can see, 195 out of 200 caps and local leader rank two. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm hoping for another settler to come in today into the uh, into the uh, into sanctuary today. Uh, such that uh, and and of course carrying uh, at least five caps otherwise uh, we're SOL here because uh, there's no I have no other way of uh, 
of obtaining caps. I, I pretty much um, hit up all these current settlers for their, um, basically emptied their pockets, right? Um, you know, all they got left is their weapon, a little, a little, a little bit of ammunition, a little bit of ammunition, and some have a hat and some don't. Um, but they're, they're, they have no caps. They have no caps. None of them have caps. So I'm basically relying on um, the the next settler to come in and um, supply those caps. Now this lady here, I believe, is also a farmer. I was just wondering where she was going. Uh, in the previous episodes, I had laid down, well, just, just let me show you here again. Um, I had laid down a large number of gourds and um, melons, as you can see there. Uh, just there on the bottom there, under the melon, you see 359 and under the gourds it's 105 so that's how many uh, gourds and melons I planted throughout the settlement uh, over the first uh, number of weeks so basically when when you start off in sanctuary um, you have several uh, melons and gourds over in this area here behind the yellow house and uh, if when you assign your first settler to uh, to farming, they uh, basically your your crop grows. Um, as you can see, this settler is assigned to a number of those um, melons and gourds, and a couple, uh, several of the uh, potatoes as well. And this one, uh, she's got a couple of carrots and potatoes over there, and some melons and stuff over here. So it's difficult to assign one settler to all melons or all potatoes or whatever. Um, it's almost impossible actually, unless you start from scratch. Um, but uh, that, that's not what happened here. Regardless, uh, there's 24 food as you can see on the bar on top there. And uh, that means that there's six set or four settlers, pardon me, working on food. There's uh, one there, and there's a couple there, and I believe that lady just walked back around the other side of the house there. And uh, yeah, so again, um, I'm uh, basically relying on the charity of uh, a new uh, a new settler to uh, to bail me out here, uh, and there she is there. That's the other farmer. And I have one settler on guard duty. And that was the, um, basically the, uh, the defense statistic that you, uh, you saw. And that's our guard right there. All right, sign two and a shield. So that's our guard. She wanders from uh, guard post to guard post and uh, she provides six defense. And um, yeah, so again, uh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I could, you know what, I'm gonna lay down these tables just to see if, um, if I will actually uh, level up. I, I suspect I will because uh, I have very, very little XP left to get before I hit level 14. So let's just go for it, eh? All right, so um, without further ado, and here we go. Three, three, three. See, it gives you three pretty much each time. Every now and then it'll give you six. And I, there we are. There's the level up. All right, so Basically, what that means is I can now, uh, as soon as I hit the 200 cap mark, 
I'll be able to purchase that clothing stand and uh, I guess we'll we'll see how that uh, that pans out in terms of um, being able to barter for uh, for various materials and uh, also um, um, cash I guess because I won't I won't have any cash but I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to barter my my water away. Um, yeah, so there you have it. That's that that was the uh, that was the level up I was hoping for. So now I can grab the um, I've I've already grabbed the cap collector, which would, would will hopefully give me better prices at the vendor. And uh, here is local leader level two. Alrighty, so we'll just have to uh, we'll we'll sit around waiting for a uh, a new settler. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, is just sit here and uh, and wait and uh, start. <coughs> Cut, cut out any uh, unnecessary, uh, you know, pauses in, in the game, in the video. Um, and uh, when we get that sixth settler, we'll see if they actually have the, uh, the five caps that I need. So, um, we'll wait here for a little bit. And then get up out of the chair again, go into the build menu, see if we have a sixth one. No, we don't. So I'm just going to rinse and repeat till I get a sixth, uh, a sixth settler here. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see you on the other side. Or maybe I'll just uh, speed this section of the video up just to get through it. Because it's probably just going to be me sitting down and getting back up and checking and stuff. All right. storm there yeah still no six settler better sit down and see if we can sit out this rad storm here
All right, so we're back. Um, just going to go over here and check the uh, status of our plants. Looks like nothing, um, nothing to harvest just yet. So uh, we'll continue doing the uh, sit and wait routine and um, see if we can't uh, get a, a settler in here with some caps. That's just taking forever, isn't it? Let's see, we started this on the fifteenth, yeah, day and a half. Day and a half. We've been waiting so far for a new settler, and uh, nothing yet. as well check the water situation and we still don't have any uh, additional water of course we got loads of water in here 2200 plus water uh -huh. Okay, so this is getting a little uh, tedious, perhaps. Oh, another red storm. How are we doing for settlers here now? Oh, still got the five. Uh huh, uh huh. Right, so. The only reason I'm waiting for another settler is to. Uh, is to get the caps off that person to um, basically um, oh, I got a whole bunch of wood here I can fix my floor alrighty what about the walls can I fix the walls uh, nope don't have enough steel so I'm really hoping that uh, when I do get the the um, shop, the stand, the clothing stand, that I'll be able to get some useful materials. I guess that's that's going to be a wait and see process too. I I guess. Um, Now, oh, I don't have enough steel, eh? Okay, that's fine. So, uh, just a little background here, in case you were wondering. Um, I have done two culls of the settler population. Uh, they were about 12 members each. So that was basically in order to get a new crop of settlers coming in with uh, caps basically that's the only way to get caps aside from finding and finding them in um, 
in containers around the settlement. And uh, trust me, they're few and far in between in those containers. Um, your the the best bet is to uh, is to get them off the uh, the settlers as they come in. Usually, they all have some. So, um, hopefully, I'm 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 really hopeful that the next settler that comes will have five caps. But. Uh, this is this is really taking uh, quite a long time for that settler to show up. Um, it is a question of time. I mean, um, I've gone through two iterations of this. This is the third, so it's just a question of time. Um, it's a question of sitting around waiting, probably. I could check the, um, yeah, why don't I do that? I'll check the containers uh, around the uh, around the town here and, uh, okay. I wasn't seeing the uh, trash bin down there, but I guess I wasn't close enough to it. Uh, nope, I still don't have number six. So I'm going to check the trash bin. I'm gonna see if there's any any new loot in any of uh, of my uh, containers. Um, the office that was in this house is still there. There are three filing cabinets and a desk, so I will check those now. And no, nope, nothing new there. Um, okay, this one does not have the mirror. This house only has this first aid box. This one used to have more. Um, used to have a couple of more cabinets like this. One up on the wall and a tall one. I, uh, I move them around. So over here we got the... Uh, we got the locker and the cabinet here. And uh, I, I don't think anything has ever spawned in that uh, Nuka-Cola machine, but uh, keep looking anyway, right? You never know. Empty bottle would be nice, probably. Piece of glass, right? That's, that's one thing that the clothing stand will not likely have is glass. And I, I really need glass to... Uh, to build the, the the walls of this settlement with the windows, but um, yeah, it is what it is, right? I I don't think the uh, the traveling uh, caravans will will be coming in here. I I wish they would. Uh, the doctor has uh, the traveling doctor has glass in his inventory, so that would be large. Um, of course, if uh, Carla were ever to show up here, she's got a number of things that I could use. She doesn't have everything, but she does have a number of things. Of course, I mean, uh, you know, you got to take that with a grain of salt, right? I mean, um, what do I need, in fact, right, <laughs> is the question. Um, you know, it's not like I'm, you know, upgrading weapons left and right, stuff like that, because, uh, I, I don't really have a big need for that, because I'm, it's not like I'm going anywhere, you know. If I was out and about, then yeah, obviously there would be a, very much a need for, uh, for better weapons. Just sticking around here and, you know, farting around this like this is, uh, doesn't require the, any upgraded weapons, at least not yet. It hasn't yet. I should knock on wood, rap, rap, just to, uh, yeah, not jinx myself. Because, um, you know how it goes, right? Just when you say something, that's, uh... That's when shit goes sideways, right? 
So nothing, no loot in any of the containers, and uh, our crops are still uh, in the ground and growing, but nothing to harvest yet. So the third order of business on my daily routine is to check the water situation in here and uh, we do have 60 additional water 62 um, which I will throw into this container basically the idea there is that um, it doesn't go anywhere from here so I have over 2300 water um, to reiterate uh, it, its value to me is 20 per item, but when I barter with it, it will likely be probably closer to 10. But even then, I mean, that's 23,000 caps worth of water there, which is a substantial, a very substantial amount. So uh, looking forward to that um, sixth, sixth settler soon as he or she shows up I will see what the cap situation is um, yeah the only way to uh, to get the uh, the caps off them is to let's trade yeah so basically you're not really trading anything you're just taking their stuff it's not like they care I mean, they're coming to a home here and uh, shelter and so on and so forth. Community, right? So, um, you know, can't really complain, right? Okay, we'll just uh, wait another little sequence here. And see what gives. Did we get our sixth person? No, we did not. All right. All right. So what I'll do is, um, when that sixth person shows up, I will uh, cut to that scene where I uh, strip them of their caps, and um, we'll see if uh, if we have enough at that moment, because that that will. Uh, basically put a closure on this uh, this moment we've or I've been waiting for at least so uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll uh, cut to that scene when it comes all right we're back again and today is the 19th of December 2287 bright and early in the morning guess what we have our sixth settler I am about to approach that person and see what um, see what they have in their pockets I guess did there he is so I've assigned him to uh, guard duty and we'll just uh, wait for him to get to his post here and then we'll uh, I just want to trade some things I just need to trade gear, with you. I just need to trade gear. <laughs> you got one bottle cap. Oh my. Not enough. Not enough. So, and that's, I guess, that's just the way it goes, right? I need four more. So uh, uh, we'll, we'll do the waiting game once again. Wait for number seven. And, uh, yeah. Stare at that long bridge into uh, Concord there. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> 